I grew up as a pastor's son in a loving family, and at five years old, um, I gave my heart to Christ. Um, at 11 years old, I had preached my first sermon and knew when I sat down from that five-minute sermon on Noah's Ark that uh, I, I was supposed to be a preacher. And that's something that did not interest me at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wanted to help people, but I, I wanted a little more excitement in my life. And I knew without a shadow of a doubt that I wanted to be a police officer. And so I rejected God's call. I set out to, to become a police officer. And when I turned 21, I did something that, that I feel like very few people can say that they have done. And I um, achieved my dream. And uh, I thought that would make me happy. But in fact, it didn't. Um, it is... I still, I still had a feeling of um, insignificance that I needed others' approval. And so um, when I met this young lady, uh, I knew I had no business uh, getting involved with her and being unequally yoked, but I decided to do it anyway because she made me feel good about myself. I wound up getting engaged to her and I just knew some things weren't right there, but um, I decided to you know, ignore those feelings and. Um, Unfortunately, I received a call from my sister one day about three months before our wedding was supposed to happen and um, was told that my sister caught her cheating on me and I was devastated. And uh, So I, I just fell into a deep depression. I stopped eating and I stopped sleeping and uh, I just didn't know how to cope with life and months and months of this went on. And One day I developed a migraine headache because I guess of all the stress and I, I went to the emergency room for, for help with the pain and the doctor injected me with a narcotic painkiller to help with the pain and um, I can't explain why but at that moment I was addicted. Um, I felt peace for the first time as the narcotics flowed through my, my veins. Unfortunately the doctor sent me home with a prescription full of pills and he said, son anytime you hurt you, you take these and it, it will help you with the pain and well the pro there's a problem in that I'm a, I'm a police officer and I'm abusing drugs and so I have a decision to make. Do I quit the drugs or do I quit my dream? And it was a very easy decision at that point. Um, I decided to quit my dream because I couldn't quit the drugs. One day, November 2006, I, uh, I overdosed and in an overdose state of mind committed an armed robbery of a pharmacy here in Jacksonville. and. My life was forever changed at that moment. I felt at that point that God was done with me, that, that why would anybody want me? Um, he was disappointed in me, and I didn't feel like, I didn't feel like the, there was any hope left at all. And I, I remember sitting in my cell in solitary confinement uh, shortly after being arrested, and I, I couldn't get a hold of anyone. Eventually, on the fifth day of this, I, I told God, if, if you can't let me get a hold of my, my family to hear that somebody on this earth still loves me and cares for me, then I have no reason to live. I can't live in a cell like this for 30 years with no one supporting me on the outside. And, and so I made the decision that I was going to take my life if I couldn't get hold of my, my parents the next time they let me out to try to make a phone call. And, and so I went down to try to make that phone call. And once again, the phones didn't work and it didn't go through. And so when I went back up to my cell, I took my razor, I set it to my wrist and went to slit it. And when I did, the guards called my name over the intercom and uh, told me to report to the officer station. And as I walked through the door, the first thing I saw was my father standing there with tears running down his face. I immediately started to, to cry and was crying so hard I could barely breathe and he said the three words that I so desperately needed to hear he said son I love you and God still loves you and by the end of that conversation I'd rededicated my, my life to Christ and I went back to my cell for the first time and I can't tell you how long with hope in my heart I couldn't quite understand why God would save me from killing myself but I knew this that if he did he still had a plan for my life. But God had mercy on me and I only served a five year sentence in the Florida Department of Corrections. And in that time, I, I stayed true to my promise and I preached his gospel and have led countless men to, to the Lord 
um, that are still serving him to this day. Um, but when I got out, I continued to keep my word and, and um, dedicated my life to becoming a, an ordained minister. And, and um, several years ago, you know, praise God that happened.